Hello, all you amazing healers, intuitive coaches, and highly sensitive people. Today, I'm going to continue along the track of helping you heal your relationships. Remember, relationships are the number one factor in your health, your wealth, and your well-being. And this is not just me speaking. This is from a long-term, 85-year-long research project done at Harvard University and published over the last couple of years. And it just show, goes to show you that of the eight factors, relationships is the top. And what you eat and your exercise, even though it's foundational, it is the bottom of an eight um, an eight factor list. So let's talk about your relationships. And today I'm going to talk about what I call contracts and agreements, and you'll discover what these are and why they're important. And I'll also talk to you about the results some people have had by clearing these and keeping them clear. Stay tuned to hear more. This is Anastasia. I used to be a physics professor specializing in vibrational and quantum physics. After recovering from a serious illness using energy healing on myself, the calling to heal became so strong that I had to quit my 40-year research career. I replaced my six-figure professor salary within five months using a simple but not easy three-step system that I worked out to grow my healing practice. Now I help other healers grow their practices, whether they're just starting or already have a practice with this same three-step system. I'm all about helping you to listen in to learn more. Thank you so much for coming back. I am so happy you're here. And we're talking about this utmost important topic of relationships. So when I grew up, I had very difficult relationships because my parents went through the war and my mother grew up in Greece where it is a kind of like old traditional family values where children are worthless and you just do what you're told or you get punished. And I grew up with this even though I grew up in the United States. And my father had pretty much a similar background. So <clears throat> what that means is that when you form contracts and agreements with other people as you're growing up, it is based on those dysfunctional relationships that you have with your parents and what your parents have with each other. It doesn't necessarily mean all relationships are dysfunctional. It's just that you're only listening here because you want to solve a relationship problem, right? So what happens when you first meet someone in the first few seconds, basically, somewhere in you, you size them up and you also base your current or future relationship on that person with exactly uh, stuff you've experienced before. So I had a very angry mother. She uh, yelled a lot, like almost daily it felt like, even though maybe it wasn't, but it's how it felt to me being a highly sensitive person and not wanting to live in that environment. So whenever I encountered somebody that had a lot of anger boiling up, I instantly felt this is my relationship with my mother and that I would have the behavior that I had with my mom, which was getting small and quiet and putting up with this, right? So that's what I call an agreement that you have with somebody. Whatever is in your relationship history, if you haven't altered it by now, like I altered it in my 40s dramatically, so I no longer have those kinds of relationships. But, uh, you know, early on in my teens and 20s and even 30s, uh, the relationships that I formed were based on the relationship I had with angry people. And so I had, uh, you know, an ex-husband that was always angry. And then after I 
uh, this was early on. And then after I left him, I had another angry husband and that lasted 10 years and I had two children with him, right? So for some people, this, you know, anger thing is okay. It is not okay for me, right? It's just not me. I don't like yelling and I don't like discord and I don't like friction, right? Because I feel like we're grown up enough that we can negotiate with one another, which is what I do with my now husband, right? We negotiate with one another. We're content with one another. Things flow freely. We support one another. It's just like what you would call in most people's terms, a boring relationship. But what I call it is warm and supportive and kind, right? So if this is what you're looking for, then looking at your old contracts and agreements that you have formed with other people in the first few minutes of forming that relationship with them, right? If you have these contracts and agreements, you can break them, you can change them. So I talked about your energy field and I've talked about your cords right? So courting and energy field is a way of exchanging energy with one another. The contracts and agreements are your rules of engagement with that person. And that those rules of engagement may not be healthy for you, but it is what you used to survive when you were little, right? And you'll continue that on until you go, wait a minute, this isn't working for me. <laughs> Let me figure out what to do to change it. So in the, by clearing up the energy field and the cords and the contracts and agreements, you can actually change a lot in your relationships. As I mentioned, you know, your health and your wealth are very dependent on your relationships after all when you go to meet new people, if you are an entrepreneur, a business person, a healer, a coach, or something like that, when you go to meet other people, you want those rules of engagement to be healthy, right? To be adult. And if you don't have that, and you have this, um, what I call an imbalance or an unhealthy dysfunctional a connection with that person. It's like you've sprayed repellent all over you and you'll go into a room and repel all of your ideal clients away and attract this unhealthy, uh, discordant connection with somebody. So one way to rewrite those, so you can rewrite them energetically. And uh, I have lots of techniques for doing that. And the result is, let me just tell you the result and then I'll explain what it is that I do and that I also offer a, relation, a free relationship healing for doing that. So what it is I do or what the result has been by clearing these all up is that several of my healers and coaches have noticed that their business has dramatically increased. Uh, one woman was, I call her Susan, was very angry at her father for 40 years. And people would say, you know, Susan's really scary. I don't want to be around her. She like seems angry all the time. And she was actually a very kind, sweet and thoughtful woman. It's just that it did not show because she had this barrier of anger around her and it acted like repellent. So as soon as we cleared her discordant father's relationship from her, the following week when I spoke to her, she says, I don't know what you did to me, but I can't even muster anger against my father anymore. And over the following month with doing no new no new networking, no new advertising, nothing different than what she had done before, she attracted 30% more business. So her income grew by 30% without putting any more outlay in time and effort and money into it. Number one and number two, her relatives and all the people that knew her really well said, 
Wow, you have really changed. Who are you and what have you done with Susan? And her family started to, you know, she was a grandmother, right? Her family started to interact with her in a much more positive way. And I've seen this kind of thing happen over and over and over again. There was a group of three sisters where two of them got along and the third one was always belligerent, angry, and caused arguments at every holiday dinner. And these were women in their uh, 50s and early 60s. And when I did a relationship healing between one of the women and her younger sister, when she went again to the holiday, she says it was the most pleasant holiday they had experienced in 30 years because this younger sister was no longer belligerent and everybody got along and it was just magical for them because they were a close-knit family and the younger sister finally felt welcome into the family, right? So, you know, it's a lot of pain on both sides. So what is it? that I mean by rules of engagement, how you change them. So you imagine that each rule of engagement is a separate parchment paper, right? So usually there are three or four between uh, two different people. And so what a rule of engagement is, I agree to be your wife, I will agree to you know, put up with this, or I will agree to carry on that, whatever it is. Like I will agree to care for the children at home while you go out and earn money, right? So these are rules of engagement. And let's say the woman didn't really want to do that, but she decided to agree to it because she felt that that would make the marriage stronger. But inside she grew unhappy and discontented and wanted to, uh, you know, have something of her own. So what you do then is you decide to rewrite those rules. So you have these parchments with all of that print on there and you can send energy into the two or three or four rules of uh, engagement that you have with that person and you can send energy into it and watch all the print fade away. And then in the end you uh, you release the papers, that blank papers that they were on and send all of that down into, your, into the deep into the earth and brush it away. And that's one of the techniques that I do. If you experience the healing, a lot of people get big relief from that. And in future broadcasts, I will talk more about the the karmic interactions, the past life interactions, and other energetic interactions that you have with other people. We have very many, uh, depending on how you look at them and how you divide them down. It's between 11 and 14 connections. By healing all of these, uh, it really makes a dramatic difference. And I'll tell you that the first four healings that I do on people solves 90% of the problems right? And then the, the balance of them, if there is a particularly sticky connection with people, it takes more. And I have had uh, students in my classes that have had to have the additional healings in order for them to get out of the, what I'd call, vicious cycle of being in these dysfunctional and hurtful relationships where they can't move forward. So I hope that was helpful today. Today I talked about what a contract and agreement is, how it has changed some people's lives by rewriting the rules of engagement that you have with people. I talked about how they formed and one of the healing techniques that I use to help release you from those contracts and agreements. So thank you so much for listening and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking valuable time out of your day to listen in. If you found this message helpful, please help spread the word by giving the broadcast a thumbs up or a five star rating, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to my channel with your notifications on. For further training on healing and growing your healing business using my three-step system, go to www.highpaidhealers.com. 
and I'll see you in the next video.